we have a case of suppose two terms are always together. Let's take an example. Suppose um, we have um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have 6 things, say 6, six uh, balls. 4 of them are white and 2 of them are red. Now you need to arrange them. Now when you arrange them, you have to take care that the red balls, that is ball number 1 and they are numbered as 1 and 2, that the red balls are always together. So if you look at it, this whole thing, so this is M suppose and so totally there are N is equal to 6 out of which 2 of them have to be kept together. So totally it's a comprehensively, there is you are taking them together, so the gross arrangement would be this is taken as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the 5 of them can arrange themselves in 5 factorial ways. And then after that even these 2 can arrange themselves in 2 factorial ways. So the total number of possible arrangements of this is 5 factorial into 2 factorials. Now how is this 5 coming? It is 6 minus 2 plus 1. So if you see this 5 is nothing but 6 minus 2 plus 1 factorial and this 2 is nothing but 2 factorial. This can be in essence would be n minus m that is this total n of them minus these 2 plus 1 factorial. This means how all of them are arranged and within the ones that are together they can be arranged in this many ways. So whenever 2, 2 or 3 or 4, similarly suppose 3 of them are together, we will have n minus 3, suppose m is 3, suppose we have 3 balls, so it's going to be 6 minus 3 plus 1, that is you will have these 3 together maybe, so it's eventually 1, 2, 3, 4 things, that is the same as 6 minus 3 plus 1 factorial. And these three themselves, that is M of them, can be arranged in three factorial ways. So ultimately it's and N minus M plus 1 factorial into N factorial. So these kind of questions we have wherein we, whenever certain number of, in any arrangement, some specific number of terms are all the, or items are together, how many such arrangements are possible is what we'll be taking up in this case. Let's see what we have here. So, as I told earlier, if n items are to be arranged, there are totally n items out of which m are together. So, the total number of items considering all these m as one single one would be n minus m plus 1. So, these total number of items taking m, all the m together as 1 is, they can be arranged in n minus m plus 1 factorial ways. Then for finer arrangement, these m also have to be arranged in m different ways, so m factorial. So if n items are to be arranged such that m items are always together, then it can be done in n minus m plus 1 factorial into m plus 1 factorial. This is the formula for this kind of a situation. Let's see how we can apply this. See for example, we have in how many ways can a letter of the words Kochi be arranged such that the letter CHI are always together. Letters C, H and I are together. So in this case, N is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there are 5. And M is going to be 3. We'll, we'll do two ways of doing it. Logically, we can take this whole thing as 1. So it is going to be 1, 2 and 3. So these 3 K, O and C, H, I or I, C, S, they can be arranged in 3 factorial ways. And then C, H and I together, they can be arranged again in 3 factorial ways. So it's going to be 3 factorial is 6, so 36 ways you can arrange them. Or if you use the formula, it's going to be N minus M plus 1 factorial into M factorial. M factorial is 3 n minus m is 6 minus 3 minus 3 plus 1. So it's going to be, sorry, 
uh, n is 5 here. So it's going to be 5 minus 3 plus 1 factorial, which is going to be 3 factorial into 3 factorial, so which again is going to be 36. I made a mistake here, sorry. This n should have been 5, not 6. So we have 36 such arrangements possible, wherein C, H, I are always together. Now, on the contrary, suppose you have, in how many ways can a letter of the word Kochi be arranged such that letter CHI always together as CHI itself. That is, we cannot have a case of CIH or HIC or IHC or any such thing. These things together is one single comprehensive unit. So, in this case, K is here, O is here and CHI is one single way. So, in such a case, these three are going to be arranged in, there are three positions, hence they will arrange in 3P3 or 3 factorial ways, the rough arrangement, which is the same as 6. Now here, we have to eliminate the case of arranging CHI in different ways, because it's as good as just selecting CHI, where the order is fixed, CHI, we cannot have IHC. So the second thing of Further arranging this in 3 factorial, that's out of question. So, it is just 3 factorial. So, in this case, understand the difference between this question and that question here and additional phrase are always together as CHI has been mentioned. So, there is only one possibility as regarding the arrangement of CHI. Hence, we have 6 possible ways of arranging. This example has been given to in a simple ingenious way to make you understand the difference between that position and that situation and this particular situation. Right. Furthermore, we have here <clears throat> the number of arrangements of the letters in the word failure so that vowels are always coming together. So, which are the vowels here? We have A, I, U, E. So, there are four vowels. So, M is equal to four. And what is N? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, N is seven. So, how can we arrange? It's going to be m factorial into n minus m plus 1 factorial is the answer, which means that it's going to be 4 factorial, 7 minus 4 plus 1 factorial, which is 4 factorial into 4 factorial, 4 factorial is 24, 4 factorial is 24, that gives us 576. Or the other way is, if you take all the vowels together, they can be arranged themselves in four ways. The vowels together would make one comprehensive unit plus the remaining three. Would make it totally four items which have to be arranged at a gross level. So they can be arranged in four different ways, which is also four factorial into four factorial. So we have 576 as the answer for this. And we do have it that way. Further ahead, we have <coughs> a case similar to the Kochi example. The number of ways the letters of the word triangle to be arranged so that the word angle will be always present is what? So, the word angle. So, that means we take this entire angle as one comprehensive unit. So, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, Four. So, there are, <clears throat> this is a case wherein there are four things which can be arranged themselves in four different ways, but a finer arrangement of the letters of angle is not asked for because it is told that the order of A and G L E is specified as only one possibility, A and G L E. So, ultimately, it is just four. Suppose they just, the question was number of ways the letter of the word angle has to be arranged so that the letters in the word angle are always together, then it's going to be 4 factorial into 1, m is 5 here, in that case it will be 4 factorial into 5 factorial. But here there is only one possibility, a and g l e. So among these we have 4 factorial which is going to be 24. So we have 24 as the answer here. And yes, we do have it that way. Okay. The number of ways in which six men can be arranged in a row. So we have n as six. And 
so that three men always sit together. That is, three are always together. So the number of ways they can arrange is going to be n minus m plus 1 factorial into m factorial, which is going to be 6 minus 3 plus 1 factorial, that is 4 factorial into 3 factorial. 6 minus 3 plus 1. 4 factorial into 3 factorial among these all the answers are given in terms of p so this 4 factorial is nothing but 4 p 4 into 3 p 3 so we have 4 p 4 into 3 p 3 so we have this as the right option so we have that right then we proceed further to the next one there are okay now we have a very interesting case there are five speakers A, B, C, D and E. The number of ways in which A will speak always before B. So it's like telling in every situation A, B will exist. It's just like the examples we did earlier that A, B, C, D, E. So ultimately it's 1, 2, 3, 4 but we don't have B, A position. So it's just going to be A into B. So A, B, this will be always together. So ultimately there are only four positions which have to be occupied by four letters because this can be taken as a single letter. So it's going to be four factorial because four P, four in simple words. Because here it's told that A always proceeds. If it was told, it is going to be a and B are together, so there will be 4 factorial into 2 factorial because M in this case is 2. So, there will be 2 possibilities. So, among these it is 4P4 which is 24. And we do have it that way. 